2004 Range Rover. This is a Range Rover HSE. 04, we got the transmission out. This came in, it had no movement. No forward, no reverse. Customer uh, said he turned out of the gas station, came out, and he just stopped moving. All right, sometimes these Range Rovers like to go into neutral. But in this case, had to figure out what is going on. So the best thing to do was to take a line loose, see if the pump was pumping, and that was fine. So I had to talk to a tech department, which was ATSG, and they told me to check the scan tool data, look at the input and output speed sensors, and I used to do that, I forgot doing it, because so much stuff we do, until you remember, forget how to do some things, or forget to do some things. Not how to, but forget to do some. So, it makes sense. You know, ATSG or a lot of tech places, they are like the, the uh, generals that are sitting on top of the mountain while we're in the battlefield fighting. So they can get to see some things um, when you're preoccupied fighting in the battle. So it only makes sense to look at the input-output speed sensor because the computer uses those in order to shift and check the gear ratios. But you can use them to see if anything is turning in the transmission. So in this case, nothing was turning. So, we just took the transmission out and here's what we saw. Right there, you can see right there, that's part of it. It goes right there. What is this? This is the input shaft that snapped right off. And that's it because the torque converter cannot turn it. The input shaft, it can turn the pump because it turns the pump around the seal there. But the input shaft goes in the torque converter. So, of course, nothing would be on the input speed sensor because, or the output speed sensor because it can't move. So, in that case, um, you know what happened here. Now, people look for probable causes. And they say, well, this is not happening, this is not happening. What could cause it? Well, this is one cause of this Land Rover. A broken input shaft, 